This is how I dress masculine as a gender fluid nakabi. I tend to wear button down shirts from the men's section that are very loose fitting with suits over them to give maximum coverage while also keeping a masculine look. I also wear loose fitting pants and jeans from the men's section. And lastly, I wear um, a very bland <laughs> niqab typically. Um, and I typically wear this black one. It's um, very easy to put on very quick um, if I don't feel like styling it. Um, and it still makes me feel a bit masculine because it kind of brings out my shoulders. But yeah, that's basically it. Bye! Beautiful friends, it's the lesbian Snow White here, aka the pronoun gal. And today I'm going to show you how to use rat rats pronouns and sentences. So let's go! Let's get one thing straight. I unfortunately am not. Sorry, not sorry. I'm not here living though. I'm not here living though. Excuse me. Hello. I couldn't help but notice that you have a name. Well, doesn't everyone? One that you're not really using. Oh, my dead name. Yes, a dead name. That's what they call it in the human realms. Yes. What about it? If you want, I can take care of that for you. For real? You'd never have to deal with it again. Oh, that's a relief. I actually have it right here. Really? Yeah, here you go. No take back these. Bye! Uh, have fun with it. I guess. Yes! 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 Gender affirm. to let your friends know what gender you're feeling today gender fluid edition <laughs> pia said that you don't have to do any of these these are just things that i do one pronoun bracelets you can get different colored bracelets with different pronouns on for example this one says she her this one says he him and this one says they them the colors also correspond to how i'm feeling so black usually goes with my black male outfits um this usually goes with like my pink fem female outfits and this usually goes with my non-binary outfit just a way to let your friends know what gender you're feeling today and how they can address you. Pins are also another good option. For example, I have this one that says they, them for when I'm feeling non-binary. Two, clothing. <laughs> Personally, I present very typically masculine when I'm feeling um, like a guy. And I present more ambiguously when I'm feeling like a non-binary. And when I'm feeling like a girl, I usually wear loads of pink. But anyone can wear anything that they want to and it doesn't necessarily depend on gender. And finally, letting your friends know. Just tell them. That's it. Just tell them when you meet them. I'm feeling like this today, and can you dress me like this? <laughs> so one of the unexpected parts about being a tall trans femme is the amount of times I'll be walking behind a woman on the streets and I'll like, you know, skirt around because I got long legs and places to be. And then they're like, scared because they think that I'm a man. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm on your team, really. So last year, after I figured out I was trans, I also figured out I was a lesbian. And I'm no longer in the closet, so... That means that I am a lesbo out. <laughs> Do non-binary people want to be called handsome or beautiful? Neither. I am a handful. Hey, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I get no bitches. Absolutely zero play. That
I'm non-binary and this is why I use this abbreviation and not this one. E-N-B-Y or N-B is actually a phonetic pronunciation of N-B for non-binary. So then why don't I just use N-B? Because N-B originated from the black community to mean non-black. It predates the term non-binary. Because I'm white and because the black community has asked us not to use it. So I'm going to listen and respect that. It's that simple.